الله اكبر 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 لا اله الا الله والله اكبر الله اكبر ولله الحمد الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا ان هدانا الله الحمد لله الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن سلك طريقهم وسار على نهجهم ودعا بدعوتهم إلى يوم الدين الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد عباد الله اتقوا الله تبارك وتعالى فإن من اتقى الله وقاه فأوصيكم ونفسي أولا بتقوى الله عز وجل و قد ذكر الله عز وجل في حكمة الصيام فقال لعلكم تتقون My brothers, my sisters Allah Almighty mentions one of the purposes of the fasting was or is in order to achieve the correct relationship with Allah in terms of consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We should be developing our character, our conduct, our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala It's okay we should be developing our character and conduct with Allah subhanahu wa meaning ourselves. We should be developing ourselves in every way. That was the purpose of the fast. Today is a celebration of the fact that we were accepted by Allah to engage in acts of worship throughout the entire month of Ramadan. It is not a day within which we should be sinning and transgressing against the command of Allah. But rather it is a day of an extra act of worship what we just did now, Salatul Eid and this khutbah. So when we celebrate a joyous and a happy day in Islam, it is celebrated by engaging in some form of extra worship according to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We've gathered here. We've gathered here so that we can meet one another, congratulate one another. We can feel the goodness. We can encourage each other to do good. And we can collectively achieve something by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are part of an ummah. We are part of a broad a family we should be caring not just for one another but for entire humanity and beyond that the creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the month of Ramadan, the month of compassion. It does not mean that beyond Ramadan, we should not be compassionate, but rather Ramadan teaches us compassion in a way that we would be able to fulfill that compassion throughout the 11 months of the year after Ramadan. The same applies to all the good deeds we've done during the month of Ramadan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallahu, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. This is the day of declaration of the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should be repeating the term Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, Throughout this particular day, Allah says in the Quran, وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ That we should complete the prescribed time for the fast and we declare the greatness of Allah upon the guidance and in order to thank Him. May Allah Almighty give us the opportunity to continue to say Allahu Akbar throughout this day. Allah is indeed the greatest. My brothers and sisters, this is also a day of charity. This is also a day of giving. Sadaqatul Fitr is a charity that we ought to have already given in order to celebrate this beautiful day. We give and we share with the poor. Those who might not have something to feed themselves today, we share with them so that they can celebrate this day which is a day when fasting is prohibited. May Allah Almighty accept from us our fasts of the month of Ramadan and bless us on this wonderful day of Eid. Amin.
My brothers and sisters, let us remember those who are sick and ill on this beautiful day. Let us make dua for them, pray for them, reach out to them. If they're close to us, perhaps visit them. Or, inshallah, be concerned about their condition in a way that we can help them. May Allah make it easy for us. Similarly, we remember those who've passed on, those who were with us last year, who are not with us this year. We pray for them. May Allah have mercy on them and grant them Jannah. And we pray for them that Allah Almighty unite us with them in the best condition in the hereafter. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallahu, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. One of the sunnah teachings of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that once you've completed the month of Ramadan fasting, don't forget that fasting is still a noble deed, but it becomes voluntary in this month and in other months. Ramadan is compulsory. Outside of Ramadan, there is voluntary fasting the 13th, 14th, 15th of every month in of the lunar month and Mondays and Thursdays sunnah fasting let us try and liven that by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will achieve a great reward we fasted the whole month we I'm sure we can do the three days of the of the month of the subsequent months and Allah Almighty will reward us same applies my brothers and sisters we engaged in salah extra prayer that was voluntary at night known as taraweeh surely it should strengthen us to fulfill at least least the compulsory five daily prayers outside of the month of Ramadan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd, barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'ani wa sunnati wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bima fihima min al-ayati wal hikmati aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'iri al-muslimina fastaghfiruh innahu huwa al-ghafuru al-rahim. Allahu Akbar, 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 La ilaha illa Allahu, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd, Inna alhamdalillahi na'maduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'hdihi wa na'udhu billah, Min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina, Man yahdihi allahu falamudilla lahu, Wa man yudlilhu falahadiya lahu, Wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allahu wahdahu, La sharika lahu, وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فالله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد My beloved brothers and sisters it is very important that we care for one another and it is very important that before all of that we care for ourselves not just in this world, but more than anything for the hereafter. Do you really care for yourself? Where are you going to go the day your eyes close? Have you thought about it? Have you prepared for it? The biggest and best way of preparing for it is to worship Allah alone. The biggest and best way to prepare for it is to seek forgiveness from Allah alone, to have hope in the mercy of Allah alone. And Allah Almighty will grant us the best of the hereafter. But if you don't develop your relationship with Allah, you are not interested in praying or in calling out to Allah. You are not interested in uniquely and solely and only worshipping Allah and Allah alone. Then how do we expect to have a beautiful hereafter? May Allah Almighty grant us the opportunity and ability to worship Him in a way that pleases Him. I mean, thereafter, preparation for the hereafter is also by the good deeds that we would do. Let us increase the recitation of the Quran. How many of us are born Muslim or we are Muslim, but we are weak when it comes to reciting the Quran, learning its meaning, looking at what it teaches, and practicing upon the beautiful teachings of the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So my brothers and sisters, I call on you and I remind you to develop a relationship with the Quran and to read it on a daily basis, even if it is just a verse a day. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallahu, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. My beloved brothers, my sisters, Sisters, what a beautiful day we have gathered here to celebrate brothers and sisters let us bear in mind the etiquette of Islam when it comes to gatherings and let us carry ourselves in the most respectful way not forgetting this is a day that Allah 
has blessed us with not to sin and not to transgress and not to plan that which is displeasing to him, but rather to do more and more good deeds by his will. May Allah Almighty accept from all of us. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. ألا فصلوا وسلموا رحمكم الله على النبي المصطفى والحبيب المجتبى كما أمركم بذلك ربكم جل وعلا فقال عز وجل إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم فصلي وسلم وبارك وأنعم على عبدك ورسولك محمد أفضل الخلق وأكرم الرسل ورض اللهم عن خلفائه الراشدين الأئمة المهديين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي اللهم ارض عنهم وعن سائر الصحابة والتابعين وعنا معهم بمنك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم آمنا في أوطاننا وأصلح أئمتنا وأولاة أمورنا اللهم احفظنا يا إله العالمين اللهم انصر المستضعفين في كل مكان اللهم انصر المظلومين اللهم انصر الذين أخرجوا من ديارهم بغير حق إلا أن يقول ربنا الله اللهم اشف مرض وارضانا ومرضى المسلمين وارحم موتانا وموت المسلمين وارحمنا إذا صرنا إلى ما صاروا إليه اللهم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد اللهم أصلح لنا ديننا الذي هو عصمة أمرنا وأصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا وأصلح لنا آخرتنا التي إليها معادنا واجعل الحياة زيادة لنا في كل خير والموت راحة لنا من كل شر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم ولا ذكر الله أكبر وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد